Guys, I'm in. Guys, here I am. Uh, it's Wednesday morning, mid-November. Freezing cold outside. It's currently quarter past seven in the morning. And uh, I'm going to head to Kings Nordley. And I'm going to get on the gauge and I'm going to do a day ticket. Hopefully, we, it produces some fish. But we all know what fishing's like at times. So... I'll tune back into you once I'm there. Stay tuned, guys. Well, guys, here I am on the gauge. It's about 8 o'clock. Um, usually it takes me about 15, 20 minutes to get here, but school traffic said otherwise. Um, just scouring around the lake, guys, and I'm the only one here. So I've got the whole lake to myself, pretty much. If it stays that way, well, I've decided what peg I'm going to fish. It's this one here. It's quite a popular peg. The plan is I'm going to chuck one down that margin, one down that margin, one out to the island. Um, I've already seen a sturgeon crash out down here. And there's a couple of carp. I've seen crash out down the shallower end, but if they're on the feed, I'm the only one going to be putting any bait in, so I'd imagine they'll move up this end anyway. Um, so, yeah, guys. I'm going to go and get all the gear and get set up now, but hopefully we're in for a good day. Um, the other reason I've picked this peg, guys, is purely because I have the deeper end of the bowl. Uh, the shallow end is literally there, so if I need to, I can just walk up a bit, cast a rod in, walk back, put it on the stand. As long as no one else comes, that's, that's a doable thing. Obviously, if someone else comes, then I'm, gonna, I'm not going to cast over their rods, but at the moment... It's looking like it could be a good day if the fish are on the feed, but we all know um, we all know what fishing is like, so you never know. But I'm going to go and get the gear, guys, and I'm going to tune in once I've put the rods in um, and update you on what's happening. So stay tuned, guys. Well, guys, I'm set up now. I've got both rods in the water. Um, so much fish activity going on. We've had a fish jump out at the end of the island, fish jump out over by that water overflow. Um, I've even had a knock on a rod after about, probably what's about five minutes of it being in. Didn't turn into a proper take, but it was a knock, so it is a good sign. I've literally gone down the margin down to the right, which is literally just off the bank, probably literally where my finger's pointing. And then down there, just off the rush bed, in the water um yeah that seems to be for the because i am going for the sturgeon obviously if dom does come around and say i mean he probably will but i'm not gonna take the mick like if he i wait for him to come around if he says third rod can go in i'll whack a third rod in out to the island because there has been a couple of carp jumping but my main aim today is to get a big sturgeon out um that's what I'm planning on, obviously. Things don't always go to plan. Uh, but for the moment, guys, all I've done, fed a little bit of meat down the right, meat and pellet down to the left, just sort of experimenting. Lunch and meat, about a, probably best part of about a 30 mil cube on each rod. Um, and now it's just a case of waiting for a bite. So I'm gonna finish getting set up, guys. Uh, get the chest mount and that on. Um, and hopefully we can get a bite. So stay tuned, guys. Well, I think so. Well, guys. Yeah. I'm in. Didn't take long at all, that. Just went to get me lunch out my car, come back, and uh, chuck me rods back in, and I'm in. Could be a sturge, guys. Had a fair few nibbles, but best part of about 10 minutes. 
it looks like a biggish sturgeon. Um, I'm all right for, I should be all right for the minute, I think. Yay. Guys, did not take long that at all. About ten minutes, maybe, if that. I was waiting about another ten before when I got me lunch and out the car and a drink and. Uh, first sturgeon has arrived. Well, he hasn't arrived yet, but he's on the end of the line. He looks like a good one as well. Yeah, he's a good one, that. Looks like the one Lewis caught. Here we go, now he's decided that he ain't going for it. Trying to get the camera out for you guys, it's sort of going on. There he is. Don't want to come up. Guys, oh, right then, let's get him on up, get in the water, and get a picture with him. Guys, tune back into you in a sec. Oh, he's a right one. Yeah. Yeah. Well guys, first one of the day, and it's not a bad one at all. That's the one guys, Ooh. he's not too keen to... Yeah, this is the one that Lewis caught the other day. He's got the little rub on his, uh, on the roof of his um, body. He, Not very happy. Keen to go. Oh. So that one there, he's 16, 8. That one he's got is a bit lively. But there you go, guys. Not very long. Get him back. There you go, he's calmed down now. That's the one, guys. Same one as Lewis caught literally the other day. <laughs> Mental. I can't believe that's literally the identical one that Lewis caught the other day, guys. He had the uh, rub in the top of his body on one of his uh, fins. Not his fins, on his back. He had a it rubbed down. That is literally the same one Lewis caught. But yeah, I'm going to get the rod back in, tune back into you guys once I've uh, got some more action for you. Right guys, I just thought I'd show you what I'm doing for feed. 
Um, all I'm doing is I'm just getting my bait and needle. Because usually I use Lewis's knife, but Lewis ain't here, is he? So what I'm doing, I'm cutting through there. Just cutting all of, like a chunk like that into little cubes like that, probably about an eight mil cube. I'm just cutting enough. And all I'm doing is taking like sort of half a handful down to the margin. And I'm just chucking it in over my bait. <clears throat> And then um, I'm just fitting, fishing a big cube over the top of that. Uh, mixed with a couple of like four mil pellets, um, normal coppins pellets. Um, and that's all I'm doing, guys. So, um, yeah, stay tuned. And uh, hopefully, in not too long, I'll have a fish out. I've seen that many fish jump out on the lake. Carp, mainly. I've seen one sturgeon jump out but the rest have all been carp so hopefully they're uh, coming on the feed fingers crossed guys but yeah I'll tune back into you when I got a bit more action guys well guys I'm in again to what looks seems like another sturgeon it was just about bloody hell yeah. you guys there I think you should be able to see he's not happy I was just about to put another rig in. Um, out to the island. I was just about to start filming, like. And um, I thought it was me knocking it with my leg, but it wasn't. It is a fish that's took the bait. Putting up a better fight than the last one. Last one sort of just waddled in. Yeah, guys, I heard it beep, and I thought, because I was bent down by my rod rest, I thought, oh, it's me. But um, then the lot, I heard the lines were coming out, and I thought, that ain't me. <laughs> this doesn't feel like a bad one, guys. Be the second one of the day if we get it in. And he's uh, not the happiest. I think it's a sturgeon anyway, guys. Feels like one. He's trying to get down my right hand margin. He's still trying. Up along the fight, this one is just pull it, pull him back a bit, get him away from this right hand margin where my rod is. I'm fine with him being out where he is now. I'm trying to get you guys the best angle to see, it's hard. Back to do some super duper multitasking for this one, guys, because first he um the bait as I was going out with the bait boat and then he's um and then so I had to get the bait boat back in and then got the bait boat back in because this guy was just stripping off lines so I thought why he's doing that I'll um get the bait boat back so I did which is sat there as you can see and now it's just about getting this one in there's only two of us on the pool there's me and the bloke over there this one really is pulling hard he does not want to come in feels like a decent one whatever it is I haven't seen it yet wouldn't mind if it was a cat Whatever it is, it's not happy at all. Could be a cat. Okay, won't mind it. It's gone quite heavy now, it just seems to be just. Same rig. 
rigs that I've been that you've seen me use pretty much every single time I've had a fish. Um, 15 pound main line. This one's a two and a half ounce lead. This one is. This one's a bit of a bigger lead. Um, and a size 10 hook. I don't like to go a bit too overkill. Just like to uh, keep it nice. This one does not want to come in. Oh, he's got a branch attached to him, that's the thing. Oh, you. Oh. There you go, guys. We all lose them. This is, I've got a, this one's a three ounce actually. Running in line lead down to a hook length, about 10 inches. Hair rig, size 10 hook. Nothing overkill. And then all of them, so we should get in a chunk of meat. Oop, that way. Figured in it in, like so. You know me, guys. Natural bait stops. They're the best bait stops. When you find them everywhere, you can never run out of bait stops if you use natural ones. Just getting that. Decent size. Just feeding that. Onto the hair. Pulling it back so it sits like that. That's it guys, I'll show you where I'm putting it in. Nothing, not over complicated at all. Walking down here. Yeah, just here it was. Nothing over complicated. Literally, standing here. And then I'm just flicking it out down the edge and walking back with it. Oh, so I can get its dad or something. It's a shame that was that fat like a good fish or what's going on here. Got a bit of a line right around the end of the rod. But anyway guys, I'm gonna uh, get that bait out by the island and uh, I'll tune back into it when I've got some more action. Guys, just a quick update. Um, just had a fish, well, a bite from the island. Absolutely picked it up, and whatever it was, it took me straight in a snag. So, what I'm doing is I just cut up some uh, six mil cubes of luncheon meat, probably. Um, so I'm just chucking them in down my margin. Um, I've got one down there, and I've got one over here. So I've got three rods set up now. We've got one going out to the point of the island, one down that edge, and one down this edge. Um, sort of just off the edge of this branch. I'm just gonna. There's a couple of cubes of meat, six mil cubes. Fed them. See if anything attracts the bike. Guys, I'm in. Out of the blue. Just watch on um, Facebook. On the little stalker rod. Out on the uh, sort of about five metres off the island, I'd say. Oh! Mate, honestly, yeah. Uh, oh no? I think it's bossed me, man. Bosted me? Bosted, man. Oh. Honestly, man. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. It's a tough one, man. We lost another. This is just a clean snap. Oh. Guys, oh, I can't 
can't believe that. It's another one, man. <sighs> can't write it, guys. Today is just not looking like it's going to be my day, to be honest. Because of that, he's unlucky for the second time. Last time it busted me. Oh, I'll get it tired, get it back out, guys. Guys, end of the session now. I've just got back in the car. Um, it is five to five. Um, tried to leave for as long as I could. As you can see on the video, I've had that one sturgeon. Um, lost what seemed to be like another sturgeon. And then I had a, well, it was either a carp or a cat. Um, snapped me uh, i thought i think personally it was a cat because it was the line was rubbed through where um <coughs> where uh the uh where it snapped you could see the line had rubbed down obviously i wasn't targeting cats particularly otherwise i would have put something a bit thicker on with uh, a bit of rubber around the line to try and protect it but that's fishing at the end of the day sometimes you don't get what you expect um but all in all, it's been a pretty good day, to be fair. Uh, there was another lad on the lake. He had one sturgeon himself, um, a little sturgeon. It was still a good day, still had a good day. Had plenty of bites, just, just not the fish to show for it. Um, but it is mid-November, so even to have potential, what I could have had three fish, if one hadn't come off and one hadn't snapped me, would have been a really good day. But it's still a good day. I've still had a fish out the water, which sometimes in the winter, you don't expect but yeah guys that's it we've got uh, a day ticket on the house pool here for the first time me and lewis have fished it um on video so stay tuned for that guys and don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment if you've got any places you want us to try and fish um or if you've got any places that you want us any things you want us to do differently or do better guys your feedback would be helpful but anyway guys stay safe tight lines wet nets and i'll see you on the next one